Hello, my name is Terence Barr and I'm the Technical Evangelist for the Mobile and Embedded Community. In today's screencast titled Radical SVG GUI Makeover, I would like to show you what a difference Scalable Vector Graphics Technology and JSR226, the Scalable Vector Graphics API, can make and how you can take your applications to a whole new level in terms of coolness and usability. For this, I will be showing you an original application, which is a standard MIDP LCD UI application, and then compare that with a version that implements the same business logic, but has been reworked using SVG and JSR226. The original application here on the left is a local business search client, which allows the user to search and map businesses by location. Even though the user interface is quite simple and straightforward, what's neat about this application is that it demonstrates how easily it is in Java ME to access and consume popular web services. This particular application accesses the Yahoo local web service and does so by using libraries in the Mobile Ajax project, which is part of the mobile and embedded community. I'm using the Sun Wireless Toolkit here to run the application on my desktop machine. So here it is. I'll start it and right away we get to the search or query screen. You can see how it is composed of typical LCD UI elements such as text fields and a drop down menu. I can enter things in the search box and delete them. I can move from field to field or I can look at the drop down menu if I wanted to change the search order. Next, I can hit search and the device goes out to the web service, queries the web service and displays all the results here in this list. I can scroll up and down, look at the details and I can select a particular entry to have it displayed in a map. So let's do that. Let's choose map. And again, the client here will go out to the web service. The web service will create a map image of the business and the location and send it back to the device for display. Here it is. Pretty straightforward. Again, we can um, zoom in and out. And that's pretty much it. So it's a simple but useful application. It's just not very appealing from a UI perspective and the usability is not that great because it does require a couple of extra button clicks to get things done. So let's go back and look at the version that we redid with SVG and JSR226. This version is over here and it's called Local SVG Makeover. I'm using the same wireless toolkit emulator only that now the emulator has SVG support enabled, just like many devices that are coming to market today already support SVG. I will launch it and immediately you'll notice a nice splash screen animation. Next, we arrive at the search or query screen again. You'll notice very different feel and look and feel of the application. Also, now we have a couple of extra features such as an animated cursor up here and the focus animation. I can do the same things that I could do in the other application. I can add text in the search field. I can move around and I can look at the contents of the drop-down menu. So if I hit the search button, then we will see a progress animation that tells the user the device is accessing the network and downloading data. And we're done. We're at the results list. And this looks very different. Um, it's, it's actually neat because it's an animated and scrolling list with zooming capability. Let me demonstrate that. If I go up and down, it actually zooms out the individual entries and 
highlights them and displays some additional information in each of the entries. Another feature that we didn't have in the original application is the feature to look at the details of an entry and I do that by using the right scroll mechanism. And you can see how the list scrolls to the left uh, and from the right we get the details. We can go back. So let's go to everybody's favorite coffee shop and map it. So again, when I map it, you will see the progress animation screen that shows the user what's happening in the background. And then the map gets displayed. The map screen actually looks the same as in the original application because we're not really using SVG here. All we're doing is displaying a PNG image that the web service sent us. Um, but even here, you know, when we zoom in, we see the progress animation again. Um, and when we're done and we want to look at some other businesses, we hit the back button and we get, you know, back to our list. So there you have it. Creating slick and engaging graphical user interfaces is easy and fun with SVG and JSR226. Everything you need to get started is in the ME Application Developers Project in the mobile and embedded community. Let's have a look at that. So here is the home page of the mobile and embedded community and there's lots of good stuff here. Um, you can see various features, uh, news, blogs, um, highlighted uh, features and content of the community. But let's go straight to the ME Application Developers Project, which is a sub-project over here on the left navigation bar. This is the home page of the ME Application Developers Project, and this project is really geared towards helping application and content developers create better content much more quickly. What we have here is a number of tutorials, how-to guides, getting started guides, of course forums and lots of code under BSD so you can copy and paste that code into your application and get started very quickly. The front page features a couple of things that you'll find here. For example, here we have the link to the Mobile Ajax project that I mentioned which contains Web 2.0 libraries and samples for you to easily access web services and create mashups. And further down here we have a screenshot of the Radical SVG makeover application that I just demonstrated. If you click on the image in more detail, you would get to the project homepage that describes the application in more detail. And down here is a link to the full source of the application under BSD in the java.net sub subversion repository. It is actually a NetBeans project, so you can download the code open it in NetBeans and hit the run button to try it out. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you'll have a look at the mobile and embedded community and SVG and JSR226. I trust your Java ME applications will never be quite the same again. Thanks for watching.